Hi, Matthew Loop here, best-selling author of Social Media Made Me Rich. Here's how it can do the same for you. And after consulting thousands of clients in over 25 countries, there are eight common denominators where many advertisers are getting their accounts banned from Facebook. So I want to help you prevent uh, before something dramatic and serious happens to your Facebook account. It's never nice to get that email or just to get shut down without notice. And this is what's happening to many advertisers. So there are eight common reasons why business owners, brands, and companies are getting their ads account hacked. And I want to uh, let you know them right now. So the first one is not having a privacy policy or disclaimer on the page of your website where you're sending the Facebook traffic. Now this seems kind of obvious, but you wouldn't believe how many brands and businesses don't have a simple privacy policy. If you're gonna run ads on the network, you absolutely let have to let users know what to expect and be totally transparent. That's what a disclaimer does along with a privacy policy. So double check your website and make sure you have that ASAP. Now the second thing is no link baiting, fear mongering, or overly hyped headlines. You've seen these probably around on Facebook in the ads. Well, it doesn't create a great user experience and many times it's like a bait and switch. Facebook is caught on to that so you can't have any sensationalistic Headlines, you can't have them think they're, the user think they're going somewhere when they're not going to that place. That's called link baiting. And if you do that, your odds of getting banned from Facebook dramatically increase. So my recommendation is to keep it very conservative with your, um, your headlines there. Now you can't make any claims, which is the third reason why many accounts get banned on Facebook. So if you're advertising a weight loss product or you know saying something like lose 20 pounds in three days, that's a Big no-no, even if what you do on a regular basis, even if the claims you make are true and you're really, really good at what you do, you still can't say lose 10 pounds in 10 days. Or if you're a doctor watching this and you get really good results with fibromyalgia or back pain, well, you have to be conservative and say, this may help the symptoms. You can't just say overcome, cure, treat, lose weight. Definitive terms, Facebook doesn't, doesn't, doesn't like that. The fourth thing, that Facebook really, really doesn't like and a reason why you can get your account banned are too many disapproved ads in your ads manager. So if you go to your ads manager at facebook.com slash ads slash manager, any ad that's been disapproved by Facebook, you need to delete that. And mind you, I've heard all of these things firsthand from a Facebook advertising rep because when you spend a lot of money with them, they will give you your own ads rep and you can contact them one-on-one -on -one back and forth. And I've been able to learn a lot of valuable insight over the years. So if you have too many disapproved ads that accumulate in your members back office, for some odd reason, Facebook doesn't like that. So make sure you delete them. I actually had a friend of mine that I helped restore his account. And that was the reason why that they, uh, they banned his account in the first place. So don't be in that situation. The fifth reason why Facebook may ban your account is you have lots of negative feedback. Even if your relative, re relevancy score is really high, Facebook has that relevancy score to show you where your ads will um, uh, place in terms of the community. Does it, is the community very receptive? Is it targeted to the right people? The higher your relevancy score, typically the lower cost per click you'll pay and the higher your click-through rate will ultimately be, but you know, there's there's probably hundreds of reasons why you might get negative feedback from Facebook, even if a community sees your ads all the time, which is classic branding, but pay attention to the relevancy score and you know the negative feedback, and if you're getting a lot of negative comments on the ad, that could clue you in to the fact, you know, you might need to switch it up slightly because there's something that's ticking people off. The next reason why your ad account might be banned is if you're targeting stuff like health conditions and you're using second person point of view. So if you're saying something like, do you have back pain? Instead of avoid back pain. There's a big difference there. It's not that you can't advertise for health conditions or problems. It's how you phrase it online that makes the biggest deal in terms of Facebook. So if you consistently use second person language in your image, you the title, um, I'm sorry, the image, the headline or the description, you are walking on thin ice. Facebook may just ban your account, even if they approve it, the ad initially. So just keep that in mind. The seventh common reason you might get your account banned would be ads that actually target somebody's uh, non-ideal body type. We see this all the time in the health profession where you're dealing with uh, people that are advertising toward conditions and they have images 
that depict pain, that have red points on them, or there are before and after pictures. Those are big no-nos. Facebook will shut your account down without notice, without any warnings, if you consistently violate uh, that one. So you can't really use the quote ideal body type in your image, whether that's due to weight loss or any uh, health and medical procedure that you're offering. It always has to be in third person and also no red points on there. And like I said, even if your ad is approved right now, that doesn't mean you're in the clear because Facebook could come back around and swing and, and just take you out just like that. So just keep that in mind so you can play it safe. The last one is what are called trapping mechanisms to your website. So if you've got a website, a landing page that brings people there and there's a pop-up where they can't exit out, certain types of pop-ups Facebook doesn't like at all. And then I've also seen marketers use what are called exit pop-ups, meaning that if you try to exit on the page, you can't exit, there's a pop-up. Facebook really, really hates that. And that's one of those violations that can certainly get your account banned without any warning or notification. I already laid out eight of the common reasons why you might get your account nixed by Facebook. So make sure you play by the rules and then you're gonna be uh, very, very happy that nothing happens to you. And make sure you read the terms of service. They're always changing. And sometimes Facebook will change it on the fly, make an update, and then if you're still running an ad that now violates their terms of service, well, you will be in for a, su a surprise when your account might no longer be there. Listen, hopefully you found some value out of this video. If you did, thumb it up, click the like button, and I would also like to invite you to grab the first six chapters of Social Media Made Me Rich. Here's how it can do the same for you. You can go to socialmediamademerich.com slash gifts, G-I-F-T-S, to grab the first six chapters. This book shows you what the world's highest paid internet entrepreneurs are doing to multiply their influence, impact, and their monthly revenue using social media. And certainly, if you have any questions, you can look me up on Facebook at Matthew Loop or just click on the link below. And I'm here to serve you in any way that I can. I want to see you get profitable and have a long, sustained, healthy relationship with Facebook because it's been very lucrative for myself and my clients. And if you do it the right way, I tell you what, referrals come in hand over fist and you can scale big time in a very short um, amount of time. So hopefully you found some value from this video. Thumb it up, share it with a friend, marketer, advertiser, brand that's advertising on Facebook that needs to know this stuff. And if you have any questions, post them below. I will talk to you soon, guys. Ciao.